So it's another one of those videos where I received a decant from a subscriber, which in this case, it was two subscribers sent me two different decants two weeks ago, and they just happened to coincide because they were two fragrances from the same niche house that I haven't tried, so I decided to make a video about it. So I do wanna thank Hamzat and T-Frag for sending me these. They are two fragrances from the line of Parfums de Marley that I have yet to try. They are Pegasus and Kalan. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of both of them. I've tried them out for about two weeks now. So without further ado, let's get it. All right, my dudes, welcome back to my channel. This is Randy, AKA Fragrance Dude, back with another subscriber-sponsored video where I was sent decants from my subscribers to review, and now I'm doing just that. Before I get into it, if you could show my like and subscribe buttons a little bit of love, as well as comment below if you do like my content. Uh, also, let me know if you've tried either of these and what you think, or if you are interested in trying them. And then also, if you'd like to hit the bell for future notifications to get my videos first, I would always greatly appreciate it. So again, I was sent Parfums de Marley Pegasus by Hamzat to review. I've tried Pegasus exclusive at uh, Nordstrom's, and I like that. I'll let you know what I got from it. I've worn it five times so far, and I wore it all the way through, so I got pretty much the same thing every time. The next one is Parfums de Marley Cologne that I received from T-Frag. So thank you to both of you guys. Um, I'm actually, I have the tester strip here for Cologne right now, and then I have the one for exclusive or for Pegasus over there. So I'm going to start out here with Parfums de Marley Cologne. Both of these are an Eau de Parfum. And this Cologne is advertised as a warm, spicy, fresh, woody fragrance. And the main notes that you get from it are spices, blood orange, black pepper, and woody notes. Um, so I hate this fragrance. <laughs> I'm just uh, get that out of the way. Um, you spray this on, and when you first spray it on, you get hit with blood orange for about three seconds. And then, and it smells pretty good for the first like three seconds. And then all of a sudden, um, I heard that there was saffron in this and that's one of the spices that's in here um, and I can kind of get that because people were saying that this kind of smells like Baccarat Rouge 540 and no it doesn't uh, the saffron in this doesn't if there is saffron which it uh, these notes in here the ones that I gave you are kind of there's spices there's woods other than the blood orange in this you really can't pick out any notes in this fragrance you can pick out something as woody or something as spicy but you can't really pick out anything else so you get that blood orange it's there for about a half hour it's a prominent note but there's this spiciness and this earthiness in the opening that really it just makes you turned off I thought I liked it for a fir first few seconds, and it's not like a horrible fragrance, but I love the Parfums de Marley line. I've tried about 10, and I loved every one of them, or at least really liked. Um, right now, this is going to be number 11, and it's going to be probably number 12, 13, 14, the more I try. Uh, it's just, it's not up my alley. It's woody, it's spicy, It's but it's weird. It's odd. It has a very odd rubberiness or like, something like a rubbery feeling to it smell to it it almost gets like a little bit of sweetness in there for like a half a second but for the most part it is spicy it is earthy and it has this like mandarin under this blood orange that gives it like a citrus sweetness but again that dissipates pretty quickly and so that's the opening i'm talking about once you get to the dry down pretty much everything from the opening is gone except for the spices and the earthiness you get spicy, earthy woodiness, and it's that's what it is. And it's all muddled, and it has a weirdness to it from the opening to the dry down. I don't like it. I, there's just nothing about this fragrance that I could say that I pull from it that somebody could like or that would like. And I don't like take, talking bad about fragrances, so I'm going to pass on this one pretty quickly. I do want to let you know I washed this off at about hour seven, and at that point in time, it still had a bit of staying power, so I'd say it's probably eight hours plus with um, a little bit above average lunge uh, projection. Um, but again, I washed it off, wasn't really trying to concentrate on it. It was not that great of a fragrance, not one I really want to spend time with. So that's Parfums de Marley Cologne. Again, I thank you, T Frag, for sending it to me, but he also said he hated it or didn't like it and I agree with you 100%. So the second one on my list is going to be the one that I was actually really excited about and I do really like it. From the House of Parfums de Marley, it is Pegasus. 
Again, this is an Eau de Parfum. It's advertised as an almond vanilla powdery fragrance. And that is pretty much what you get from the opening through the dry down. Because the notes in here aren't the, they are the more heavier notes. They're going to last throughout the lifetime of the fragrance. The main notes you do pull from this are bitter almond, vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. Although the main ones you really need to focus on are the vanilla, the almond, and the sandalwood. So when you first spray this on, you get this really nice powdery bitter almond mixed with, it doesn't uh, taste, smell that bitter, but it, it smells nutty. You get that uh, powdery almond mixed with this nice creamy vanilla, and it mixes really good with a background of this nice woods. Uh, the sandalwood is in there, it's just in the background, and you also get a little bit of florals coming in in the mid from the jasmine. Um, but as you, I don't really get much of the bergamot or anything that are in the original note breakdown, which is why I decided to only give you those four notes. Again, the notes don't really change and this fragrance doesn't change too much as you get to the dry down. Outside of that sandalwood pulling up and becoming one of the main notes, uh, really provides this nice aromaticness to it. But for the most part, you were looking at a nice nutty, uh, powdery, creamy, vanillic uh, fragrance overall. It's really good. It's actually a really nice warm sensual um, fragrance that would be good for pretty much fall winter early spring although i could see it being worn all year round as date night but during the fall winter and early spring you could wear it odd uh, day or night um, it actually depending on how much you sprayed it could be good as an office fragrance as well but i find it to be better of a date night fragrance it's a great cuddling fragrance as well my wife actually really likes this fragrance as does my daughter um, so the main thing that you need to know is the almond and vanilla, a little bit of woods in there. It's really good open to close. And what's actually really nice is that points in this fragrance, um, you get this like cooling aspect to it, which is actually really nice. And so the Parfum of Marley Pegasus is one that I'm definitely considering picking up, especially as the fall rolls closer. And if it goes on a sale, I'm definitely going to be putting my nose towards picking up a new one of these bottles. It's really nice. And not only that, I think the bottle is a, if I put it on the screen, I believe it's a silver bottle. I don't have it in front of me or a chrome bottle. Um, so it looks really, really cool. I've been wanting to get my nose on this for quite some time and I'm really happy that I did. So thank you, Hamzat. And again, thank you, T-Frag for Kalan, even if I didn't like that. So out of these two, I would definitely recommend to go out and try. Um, it's uh, Pegasus. Again, it's more of a formal fragrance to me, although it can be worn casually. It's a very versatile fragrance for the months that I spoke about. So uh, other than that, let me know what you guys think of the two fragrances. Again, to me, Pegasus is by far the better option, but let me know if you prefer Pegasus exclusive or if you like Cologne better. Uh, I'd really like to know that in the comments. But other than that, I'll be back with another Parfums Tomorrow video uh, in a few weeks. I do have a few lined up here. And so thank you guys very much. And I'll be back with another one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.